It's about uh, two sisters, one of whom is, whom is unable to have a child, and her younger sister offers to be the surrogate for her to have a baby. Um, and this sister, who is the surrogate mother, discovers a little later in her life, when she decides to have a baby for herself, that she, in fact, is unable to have a child. So uh, we, we start off with, with Claudia giving a child to her sister. And I would just really want to just get on with being a wife and a mother and, and that sort of... But whereas you're sort of more into mm. fighting for your cause and... Um, yeah. yeah. We're sort of quite um, different in our way we approach yeah. life. Claudia's definitely a career woman, yeah. so she's out there to make a difference mm. in the world. Um, and she's not afraid to ask her what she wants, whereas no. Helen tries to sort of do it more subtly. Yeah. And doesn't, and then doesn't really like it when things don't go her way, but she's just not bold enough to ask. Yeah. It's not about not loving you. I want a child. Couldn't we just wait another year? No, it might be too late. Oh, just another year? No! Now! I know you're upset about Kelly. I understand. I really do. I'm not sure I need to know this level of detail. I even put an Inca fertility charm on the bead heat. Inca? Well, having one of your own will help get things back to normal with Helen. Wonderful news. Yeah, great. It's uh, out there at last and people are buying it. You mean the pregnancy? Uh, yeah, great. Um, uh, what do you think? I think it's wonderful. Yeah, it's pretty punchy, isn't it? Good layout. Uh, the magazine. The pregnancy, uh, yeah, it's great. Um... You know, the, the character, the main character goes through an IVF process unsuccessfully. Those hormones make you feel as if you're bursting with fertility, engorged, your whole body screaming, pregnant, pregnant. And in your mind, you're holding your baby's hand, mentally blissed out as she takes her first wobbly steps. and then you bleed. We are trying to put it as a story with a beginning and a middle and an end. And um, so to create the end as being um, a, a situation of resolution, let's say. So it's not all doom and gloom. Um, it's actually hopefully uplifting as well.